guess Cole and I are the cleanup crew. Yeah, we're the cleanup crew. <laughs> Jane, where are you going? Come here. Come here. We got to clean up in here. It's a mess. I can get this out today. Cole's here to help me, so we're gonna saw this tree out. ready to head back. Jane's ready to drive. Hey, Jane. Hello, I'm in the kitchen again with my sourdough starter. Um, I took some sourdough starter out last night and I put it in a quart jar. And instead of adding white flour to feed it, I did wheat, if you can see this. Anyway, it's very active today, so I'm gonna use it to mix up the spread. And we're gonna use white flour, but I'm gonna use a wheat sourdough starter and I'm gonna see how it turns out. Again, four cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two thirds cup of starter, and um, one and a half cups of water. Anyway, I'm mixing this up. I try to get my water around like lukewarm temperature. How many of you have a dough hook? I love this for mixing up my bread. It's from the Food Nanny. I'm sure most of you follow her. Anyway, I'm just mixing it up as I go. I'm going to let this set for 30 minutes with a damp towel over it and then fold it and stretch it some more and then let it sit all day. Okay, I mixed it up and folded it and stretched it a few times and now I'm gonna put a damp towel on the top of it so that the um, top doesn't dry out and let it sit most of the day. I've got the wheat sourdough starter bread um, covered in a like a oiled plastic wrap for 30 minutes and I'm heating up the Dutch oven.
This is my first time making sourdough biscuit discard. Um, anyway, I'll let you know how they turn out. It was four cups of flour, a, a teaspoon and a third of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, three tablespoons of sugar, um, a cup of buttermilk, a half a cup of discard. Anyway, I'll let you know how these turn out. You bake on 400. sourdough starter I guess that's what you call it now I started out with the regular sourdough starter and instead of adding white flour I've been adding wheat flour three quarters cup of flour to a half a cup of water and I'm gonna stir it up and then put the lid on it and let it activate this is what it looks like once you like stir it up and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's active. This is my active wheat starter. How many of you remember that this jar that I found when I was out um, junkin on our property. I still have to clean it up some more. I got to get a bottle scrubber, but I'm going to save this jar for our new house and do kind of like a floral arrangement like this in it and put it on my table. But anyway, sometimes junk is the next person's treasure. <laughs> 